Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Steve, I run a small company called PVE and we are a Max ECU dealer in the United Kingdom. Uh, this is just a, a real short video, just like maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes of, of the basics of data logging on the Max ECU. Uh, we get a lot of customers ask um, how to send a data log, how to record a data log, and it's things that I try to go through with customers very often, but actually I thought it'd be really useful to be able to make a little quick short video that will just explain the basics, the, the different types of data logging that the Max ECU has um, and how to operate them, how to use them and how to send me a data log. Uh, we really love the Max ECU, the data logging is an integral part of it, um, it's, it's class leading, the, the data logging internally is class leading as well, certainly at this price point. A lot of its competitors are still having to data log to an SD card or externally or to a separate module, and even then it's often only at 20 hertz. Uh, the internal data logging can be up to 1,000 hertz on the Max ECU, uh, and it's completely user-definable. So it's a really useful tool, really, really clever bit of kit, um, and, and, and as I say, it's class leading in the Max ECU. So hopefully this video will be helpful to you, um, and it'll enable you to be able to do some of the things that we know your Max ECU can do. Let's get going. Okay, so the first type of data logging I'm going to talk about is the, the direct to laptop data logging. Uh, this is quite a common sort of data log that you'll get on most aftermarket ECUs. Um, so this means that the, the USB cable will need to be connected to your laptop. You will have to open the Mtune software, have it on your laptop, um, and then we will record all of the channels that the ECU can see. Now the laptop data logging is very clever, very powerful, um, and it will store it to a file. A couple of things to note, um, for me it's easy, I've got a dyno cell, I've got a, a 240 volt socket right next to where I'm sat and I can literally bang my laptop charger into there. Do not run a 12 volt charger to your laptop and plug the USB cable into the ECU, you will very likely fry over laptop ECU one or the other or indeed both, so don't do it. Um, if you're going to, if you've got like a crap battery in your laptop, by all means take one of those data those um, power banks with you, the, the Lion ones, plug it into that if you must, but don't plug it into the car's system, the 12 volt system on the car. So um, another thing to note is the moment you save a data log, um, within that zip file that it stores the data in, it will store a copy of the map file that's, that was last on that ECU. So, so it's another good thing if you're sending me or your tuner or emailing data logs amongst yourselves, absolutely brilliant, um, and you will email the zip file that, that it stores, and that will send a copy of the tune as well. Um, so with the USB to laptop data logging, essentially it records every channel on the ECU as fast as it can through that USB cable. Um, you can look at the frequency that that is recording at on the log afterwards. Often it's, you know, 25 hertz, something like that. So for all intents and purposes, it's it's a, a real useful bit of kit. Um, and 25 hertz is usually enough for most things, certainly when you're trying to find a problem or whatever. Um, so, so in order to do a data log um, with the USB connected, um, hopefully the, the PC you can see now, um, this is the normal software, the, the Mtune software you'll see no problem at all. You, you're probably familiar with it. Um, top left here, um, you'll see this record button. The moment you click record, it'll bring this open. This is uh, bringing up an XJS that we last tuned, but you know, call this um, whatever you want to call it. So now that is storing. Uh, it is now saving to the laptop's hard drive, wherever you just saved that, uh, that file name to, it's just going to keep storing there until such a time as we hit the stop button. Um, so another point of note that I'll very often do is just turn the ignition off um, and I'll leave it recording uh, and then the moment I turn it back on uh, the ECU will immediately start recording to that file again. Um, you will have a big uh, long line of zeros in your, <laughs> in your time stamps on your uh, data log but it will do that. Um, Something else is uh, if you do unplug your laptop now or unplug a USB cable or laptop goes to sleep, it's very likely that file will be corrupt and you won't be able to read it. So in order to finish data logging, simple as that, bang, stop data logging. The moment you've done that, you've now got your data file that you can open that I'll touch on at the end of this video. So that is essentially 
data logging to the laptop. The positive things are it records every single channel, every single PID, every single bit that the ECU knows about it's recording. Um, but you must have the laptop connected in order to do such a thing. And you, you know, it, it's recording at whatever speed your USB and your laptop can support. So, you know, often, as I say, it's often 25 hertz or so. Um, so that may be a limitation to you depending on what you're doing, but it, it's a good tool, good useful tool. So all of your data is now in that file. So the second method of data logging within the Max ECU system is the internal logging. The internal logging is set up through the mtune software of course you can download the logs after they've been stored into the ecu again through the mtune software it's dead easy to set up usb into the side of the pc again uh, open mtune software you'll find in your configuration tree in the left hand side um, yours may look different to mine um, max ecu only actually activates that part of the software when you're using it for instance drive by wire um, or, or gearbox control it will add it in here I don't have that in this car, so it won't look like that. Um, in configuration, uh, ECU logging settings. Again, it's pretty easy, it's pretty obvious. You can select the channels to download. So select the channels to log, sorry. Um, so you can click click, that, click any of those, uh, search in there for whatever you want to search for, um, and add and remove as you, sit, as you see fit, what's ever important to you at the time. Um, once you've selected them, um, you can select the log rate here. So the active boost table, for argument's sake, we don't really need to log that at 1000 hertz, so we can just click it, and it will limit it to, if we keep clicking it, it will go up through. If that stops there at four hertz or whatever, for argument's sake, um, it's because this here is is down too low. So this one is set at, at its maximum. Um, it'll tell you here how many minutes of logging you'll get in this current state. Uh, it's worth noting that when you when the, when the Max ECU fills up its memory, it will then delete the oldest one um, and so on. The actual logging starting conditions are here. There are various selections you can use, um, always on or by switch internal output. That tends to be what we use, a little switch on the dash log. Um, once you've set that going, um, it's as simple as that. It will just then start logging under these conditions or always. When you come to download the logs, again, you go out and do whatever you're gonna do, get some logs, come back, download log, uh, and then you can just any of these logs here um, you can download them all by selecting all or just download the one that you've selected download and then it will just bang that straight into the um, straight into the folder that you sold it that you set it to uh, so that's how to data log dead easy dead simple hopefully it's useful um, we'll just very quickly touch on the actual data logging part of the software and how to read it and some little hints and tips but basically that was the point of this video just how to data log both types of it they both have their advantages and disadvantages but both very very useful okay so let's let this old escort do her work get a quick power run out of it so we've got a data log to look at Okay, the old girl performed admirably. We've got a couple of power runs now on a data log. So just very quickly, let's just run through how you'd view a data log. Um, okay, so little play button again in the top left hand corner. Just click there. Find the last run that we did, which was there, or whichever, whichever one you're interested in. Um, it's worth noting as you open this, um, if this is not the right tune in the background, it will come up with a box and say, do you want to open this tune? If you happen to have your ECU plugged into your car, uh, it will overwrite whatever it is on there uh, with the tune that's embedded into the data log. So just be aware. Uh, probably not so awkward for you get for you guys running with one car for someone who's do, dealing with a different one each day it can be a bit of a problem um okay so it'll open up this this field here which is just basically our data log we can scroll along the top there that's the whole duration of the data log from there to there 
uh, and then you can scroll back forwards, um, left, right. Now I use the arrow, arrow keys, so um, let's just go along here. That's our power run. We can see the yellow line is the RPM. If you highlight over the uh, over the line, it will say, uh, you know, by the cursor what the actual position is. Um, if you use the up and down arrows, it will zoom in and out, left and right scrolls along the log. Um, there's some really useful bits and pieces along the bottom. Uh, log info, that's one of the first ones I'll click um, and it will just tell you the date and time that that occurred, that log. Um, it's also given us the average log rate there, 21 hertz. So. Um, it tells you, uh, you know, which version of the M tune it was on and which firmware version. So there's lots of stuff you can deal with. The these are um, uh, different tabs that I use for various different things. You can add your own. Um, just right click, add a graph page, call it what you like, um, and then you can just add. I'll have to delete this later, but then you can just add whatever you want. It will copy the last page that you had. Um, you can search, uh, look for all log data. It's 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 best you just go in there and have a play. Um, I've got some various other Max ECU videos where we use the onboard logging to actually tune the VE table. Um, so have a look for that one if you've not looked at it and you're interested. Um, but hopefully that's covered the majority of what we want to do with data logging. As I say, um, the, the video was really just primarily for me to send to various people that we've given ECUs to, or not given them, but um, fitted them to the car, and you ask for a data log. Um, and often people come back and just say, well, I don't know what you mean. And, and I get it completely. But hopefully, um, the day logging is very easy on the Max. Um, it's quite straightforward. It's all logical and in sensible order. So hopefully, um, I've answered some questions at least um, for the beginning of data logging. So thanks again for joining us. Hope the video is useful. Um, please stay tuned, like, and subscribe for any other Max ECU related stuff we might be doing. Thank <laughs> you.